let's adapt the scenario to meet a new business requirement. Our goal is to send an audit report whenever a client performs 15 or more transactions within 24 hours period, regardless of the total amount. We already have the aggregated transaction data, which includes both the sum of transaction amounts and the count of transactions. We will reuse this data to add a new condition, checking if the number of transactions exceeds 15. First, we will add a split node to create a new parallel processing branch. Next, we will add a filter node. In this node, we will check if the transaction count from our aggregated data exceeds 15 using the following condition. If this condition is true, the flow will proceed to the next node. Let's now add the sync node to handle the audit report. We will configure it to send the following message to the audit topic. This way, anytime a client performs 15 or more transactions in 24 hours, an audit report will be automatically generated and sent to the audit topic. Once we have added the new logic, it's time to deploy the modified scenario. With just a click, Nusnaker will redeploy it in real time, and you can immediately start seeing how it performs. As the data flows through the scenario, the real-time counters at the bottom of each node will update, showing you how many events are processed. This makes it easy to track if the new audit role is working as expected and how many transactions trigger an audit report. It's fast and intuitive way to validate your changes.